Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about uh, bridge rectifier, and this is an assignment question for this uh, student from Bangladesh as requested. So let's try to understand. First of all, let's recall that in the full wave rectifier, if the input is a sinusoidal signal, the output has two uh, peaks. Uh, as shown here and actually these two peaks uh, can have uh, two three values one is the called dc value or the average value the other is called the rms value root mean square value and the third is the peak value the peak value is generally written as vm rms has the formula that vm divided by under root 2 and V average for full wave rectifier is two times Vm over pi. That is 0 0.636 Vm. So these formulas we'll be using. The question uh, sent by the student is, is shown here. In a bridge rectifier circuit with an input supply of 230 volt, 60 hertz, with the primary to secondary turn ratio of 4 to 1, load resistance 220 ohms, diodes are ideal. And we have to determine these four points, the DC output voltage, peak inverse voltage, PIV, the output signal frequency, and the ripple voltage. Now, no diagram is given. So we have to draw a diagram. I've just written down the question again here neatly. And now we can assume this diagram. This is our bridge rectifier diagram. And the parameters that are given here is like the input voltage, 230 volt RMS. We know that the in our household, all the voltages that we talk about are in RMS. So this is 230 volt RMS. The transformation ratio is step down transformer 4 to 1. This is the load resistance given. So, the first of all, what will be the secondary voltage? So, for that, we use this formula Vp over Vs is equal to Np over Ns, number of turns in primary, number of turns in secondary, which is 4 over 1 from here. And from this, we can calculate the secondary voltage to be 1 over 4 Vp. And by putting value of Vp 230, the secondary voltage will be 57.5 volt RMS. Although it is not written frequently, but you have to keep in mind that we are talking of RMS voltage. So this is 57.5 volt RMS. And for simplification now, I'll remove the first part of this. So this is our circuit, 57.5 volt and the bridge rectifier. And I hope you know the working of bridge rectifier. Uh, just to explain the positive terminal when touches the positive of the diode, that diode will become forward bias. We have shown it with the green. And if the positive terminal touches the negative terminal of the diode, that diode will become reverse bias. So we have shown is an open circuit. And similarly, towards the negative side, if the negative side uh, sign is touching the negative of the diode, that will become forward bias. And if the negative touches the positive of the diode, that will become reverse bias. So this is our circuit. And now from here, you can see that this voltage is directly going to the load without any drop. And therefore, we can say that the output voltage or the load voltage will also be same as the secondary voltage, that is 57.5 volt RMS. Now, the first question asks, DC output voltage. Now remember this output we have got is RMS voltage. So we have to convert it into DC. Now the DC is 2 Vm over pi or 0 
Vm, but here we have RMS, not Vm, so we have to convert this into Vm by using this formula. From here, Vm will be under root 2 V RMS. So for this, we'll write under root 2 V RMS and putting the value of uh, RMS, the final answer will be 51.72 volt DC. So this is first part. But there is another way of solving this circuit. And that is if we, instead of uh, the RMS, if we consider an AC input, uh, and if we consider this to have the AC signal like this, then we can find the peak of the signal. And we know the formula for peak or Vm from here is under root 2 VRMS. Now VRMS is 230, so peak will be 325.27 volts. So this peak, 325.274. And from here onward, we'll just follow the same. We divide by 4 to get the secondary. So dividing by 4, it will be 81.32 peak. And same logic, positive, making these two forward bias. And therefore, the output will also be 81.32 volt peak. Okay, and now to get DC, we just use this formula 0.363 Vm, that means V peak, which is 81.32. 81.32, putting the answer is 51.71 volt DC. So the same answer that we got in the previous slide. Okay, now, I don't know if you are familiar with this term, PIV is peak inverse voltage. So let me try to explain. We had this circuit, and at conduction, the, these two were conducting, and these two were not conducting. So how much pressure on this? This positive 81.32 volt here, We'll try to break it down, we'll try to pass through this diode, but the diode will prevent. So this voltage, the maximum voltage, that is the, that the peak voltage, will be called the peak inverse voltage applied at this diode and also at this diode. And similarly, uh, for the negative half cycle to the other two diodes. So we can write that PIV or peak inverse voltage is same as the output secondary output or vm secondary that means 81.32 volt now part c is easy output signal frequency from here you can see this is one hertz but here we have two cycles or two hertz so we can say that the output frequency will be two times the input frequency and Input frequency in the question is given to be 60 Hertz. Therefore, the output frequency will be 2 into 60, that is 120 Hertz. Okay, now coming on to the last part, a slightly tricky ripple voltage, not explained very well in, in all the books. Okay, so if, we, if our circuit uh, had a filter capacitor, then the output will be like this, smooth, almost smooth. And this is the ripple. Now, in our case, there is no filter. Therefore, this whole will be ripple. And as we have already discussed, the three parameters, we have average voltage, RMS voltage, and peak voltage. Now, there is no filtering or a smoothing circuit. The output voltage fluctuating heavily. That is from 0 to 81.32 and back to 0. So we ripple RMS we have to find. We have to find RMS value of the ripple or the RMS value of this whole ripple, uh, which is around the DC. Not this RMS voltage, rather this around this DC ripple. And the formula is V RMS square minus V DC square under root 2. And now this, this website has explained the detailed mathematical derivation. I will not go into this. So we will just follow this formula. 
and now v rms we know is vm out over 2 which is 81.32 over 2 which is 57.5 v out rms which we have already calculated here and similarly vdc is 063 vm uh, which also we have calculated here 51.71 so putting these two values and solving we get v ripple to be 25.12 volt now this uh, website uh, uh, all about circuit has explained it very uh, simple way formula is using the same formula and v uh, v ripple rms is under root that just like we have used but what he has done is that instead of uh, putting the calculated values, he has put in the formula's values and simplifying, he has found out that V ripple RMS will be approximately equal to 0 0.3 of Vm. So now let's see if our calculation and this calculation matches. So if we put 0 0.3 and Vm in our case is 81.32, so the answer is 24.4 volt. We have calculated it 25.12. So it's very close. And this one is approximate. So uh, this is fine. You, you can use this as well. Uh, so I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your feedback. Thank you.